Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Tesla stock and of course addressing the topic of could we be seeing S&P 500 inclusion happening this week for Tesla? And so this is kind of like our last chance to have this discussion before the week begins. And yes, it has been a long weekend. So of course, happy Labor Day. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. You know, just enjoyed that extra time off and spent some time with the family. For me, it's just really been business as usual, grinding as always. And I can't really go anywhere because my fam is like super at risk for the Rona. So it's just not worth it for me at this point. But I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. I have to admit I was definitely missing today being a market day it, it seems like it's been a, a really long weekend just because like the stock market is is what keeps me going that's what gets me energized just because as you all know I do these videos and I'm always interested to see what's going on with Tesla stock especially so I have to admit at least as an investor from that perspective it has been a, a pretty boring weekend in that sense because I honestly wish we had like the stock market 24 7 because the weekends you know normally back in the day when I was at, at college or at school the weekends were the best part of the whole week but now it's like the weekends are the worst part now that I pretty much work every day and the fact that I just love seeing what's going on within the stock market so it's kind of crazy how that works as you get older but just getting into this topic for today like I said this is all about could we be seeing S&P 500 inclusion happening this week and of course as always if you all do enjoy the Tesla videos please make sure to smash that like button but I just want to get into this topic by referencing a recent tweet by Elon Musk now this was one back a few months ago before the stock split happened and so I just want to show you how cryptic Elon Musk can be sometimes where he may tweet out something that doesn't seem to have much significance. It may seem like just a meme or a joke, but it actually has some hints in behind that tweet. So let's go ahead and check this out and then I'll connect it to the topic of S&P 500 inclusion. So as you can see, this was tweeted on May 1st of 2020 on 11, 11 a.m. And the tweet stated Tesla stock price is too high in my opinion. And so Tesla stock was up pretty high high at this point I believe and so as soon as Elon Musk tweeted this it dropped down like a significant amount and so people actually capitalized on this tweet and got some Tesla stock at a discount because it showed how much power he had simply by giving his opinion on the stock price. Now, of course, at face value, you can just look at this tweet and think, OK, this is typical Elon. He's just joking around on Twitter, just memeing around and stuff. And of course, when you look at this, you think, oh, the SEC might like to have a word with you, Elon. But like if you really start thinking into this tweet a little bit more and if you start to hyperanalyze it just a little bit, this is something that people figured out in retrospect afterwards words after the stock split was announced and occurred. So if we start analyzing this tweet a little bit more, we'll get back to what he actually said in this tweet in just a second. But let's just take a look at the date that he tweeted this. So 11, 11 a.m. Now, that's just ironic in itself because, you know, people say make a wish. It's 11, 11. So that's just kind of one of those things. I think he did that just for the meme. But if we look at this date, May 1st, 2020. So if we really start thinking about this May 1st date in terms of numbers, that is 5, 1, 20. 2020. May is the fifth month of the year, and of course, the day is the first. So think about that. 5 1 2020. 5 1. 5 for 1 stock split. He was hinting at the 5 for 1 stock split way back in May. And that connects to what he said, in which he says Tesla stock price is too high, in my opinion. He didn't say it is overvalued. He said the stock price is too high, meaning that with a stock split, that would actually drive the stock price down and make it more affordable compared to like whatever that was back then, which I think would be like $700 pre-split. So just keep in mind that he was hinting at the stock split way back in early May. The stock split didn't happen until later on in August at the end of the month. So Elon Musk does like to leave these little cryptic hints on Twitter, which I absolutely love. I love solving puzzles and just you know the small things that you can appreciate like hints like this that you can solve if you were actually thinking into it and so this is actually kind of a really intelligent tweet because of the fact that so many people were focusing on the fact that the CEO of this company said the stock price was too high they got obsessed over the fact that they were interpreting it in terms of the CEO saying the stock price is overvalued and things like that when it was really just a hint at the stock split so I want to emphasize with this that Elon Musk puts these hints out all over the place all the time. And just another example of that was right before Q2 of 2020, where they announced like the earnings and of course the deliveries and things like that. We had Elon Musk favorite a tweet on Twitter, which was a video of Ron Barron talking about Tesla way back in early like 2019. And Ron Barron was talking about how he had a conversation with Elon Musk in which Elon told him, 
that everything would start falling into place in the second quarter of 2020. And keep in mind that this was an old tweet. This was a tweet from 2019, and Elon Musk had favorited this tweet like right before the Q2 earnings announcement. So he favorited that so the people paying attention to his account would actually see the little hint that he had put on his page. And so why else would you go back and favor a tweet like that unless he knew intentionally he wanted people to see it or, or that people would pay attention to that and understand that it was like another one of those cryptic hints. So there are some nuggets of information and some hints that Elon Musk does like to drop on his Twitter. And so all of this connects to S&P 500 inclusion because of course, as we know recently, Elon Musk has been talking about snake jazz and Polynesian elevator music. And if you really start to think about that, first off, we'll go ahead and check out this tweet, but I'll explain that a little bit more. As it says right here, this was at 4.17 a.m. on August 20th, 2020, and Elon Musk stated new Tesla feature coming that enables your car to play snake jazz or Polynesian elevator music through its outside speakers wherever you go. And so this is one that I can't really make the connection on like what the hints are here, but I think this is definitely a reference to S&P 500 inclusion because just think about the order of this tweet and everything else. So snake jazz, you have the S and then Polynesian elevator music, which is P. So S&P 500, I think this is what it's hinting at. Yes, Elon Musk is memeing around a little bit but i also think this is a reference because he has emphasized snake jazz and polynesian elevator music in multiple tweets now so here's once again another tweet by elon musk at 1 52 a.m on august 20th 2020 so this was like two or three hours before that tweet that i just showed you talking about snake jazz and polynesian elevator music together in one tweet so this is once again a reference of snake jazz it's like a snake and a saxophone and so i did see like a, a recent post on reddit on the the tesla investors club and for some reason i can't find it now i can't find it anywhere on twitter i thought i bookmarked it but it was someone like trying to solve this tweet and, and what date it could actually mean and i think their conclusion was september 8th somehow i know they like divided some numbers or something like that but keep in mind this is 100 a rumor i literally can't even remember the post so i don't even know if the date was actually september 8th or not but ironically if i do remember that correctly september 8th would be tomorrow which is tuesday which is when a lot of people are kind of hoping that s p 500 inclusion is announced for tesla some people have even stated like aside from that reference and aside from that tweet like not even addressing that itself some people have just simply predicted that s p 500 inclusion could happen on tuesday because they thought it would kind of be better just to announce it at the beginning of the week rather than like before the long weekend like we saw with catalan etsy and teradyne so some people have actually just to Aside from that tweet and, and all of those references, some people have simply just stated that they believe it's happening on Tuesday. So I want to emphasize over and over and over again that none of what I say or have said in this video is to be considered financial advice and that this is simply just a rumor. Right now, there's no sources. There's nothing backing those rumors up whatsoever. It's simply just a bunch of predictions and random ideas from random people on the internet floating around right now. So there's no sources or any credibility backing much of this up right now. So just keep that in mind. I don't want people to rely on this rumor and make it a financial decision like buying Tesla stock because they think it's going to happen on Tuesday because it's not guaranteed to happen. There's really nothing backing it up that it could happen on Tuesday. However, I'm just mentioning some things that are floating around right now on the internet. And so if I thought Tesla stock was going to be included in the S&P 500, if it was definitely going to be included next week, if that was just something set in stone that was going to happen, if I were to predict a date, I would probably predict Tuesday, even aside from that tweet and everything else. It just seems like Tuesday kind of makes sense because like I said some people have been stating that it would just be better for Tesla to be announced on Tuesday given the fact that it wouldn't be before like a long weekend like we had with those three other companies on Friday and so like I said if S&P 500 inclusion is going to happen sometime within the time frame of Tuesday through Friday next week I personally think it would happen on Tuesday out of all of those potential days now if it doesn't happen on Tuesday just keep in mind I think there's going to be a huge overreaction in the market once again like we saw on Friday in which people will likely start to sell off as that snowball effect occurs with of course some people selling off because of S&P 500 inclusion not being announced and then because of those people selling off it drives the share price down and then others start to sell off because they bought it at a high point and just can't stomach the losses so if S&P 500 inclusion is not announced tomorrow that's something that we could likely see 
just in my opinion of course but so just with that s p 500 tweet where he's talking about snake jazz and polynesian elevator music it seems like one of those other things where people are so focused on the fact of what he's just literally saying like with snake jazz i think that's like a rick and morty reference or something like that and then polynesian elevator music of course people are just making memes about that and joking around about that but however i think there could be somehow like a cryptic tweet within there with if we're really paying attention we can maybe figure it out but i just could not for some reason find that post where people were talking about how they thought they solved it and like i said i don't remember 100 percent if the date was actually september 8th but this is still a long shot just keep in mind we could be over analyzing things where there actually might not be a hint in these tweets and it could just be elon musk joking around on twitter but regardless i still think it's really fun to look for these things and it's kind of awesome that we have a ceo that jokes around and puts these little hints and tweets and things like that but regardless hope you all enjoyed this video please make sure to smash that like button if you did and also feel free to check out robin hood and weeble in the description below if you sign up with my referral link you'll get some free stocks and especially with weeble right now you can get two free stocks valued up to fourteen hundred dollars if you deposit one hundred dollars into your account and sign up with my referral link so it's basically just free passive income and you can take that one hundred dollars right back out of your account after you get the free stocks so like i said basically just free stocks free money but hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your week